Okay, so real quick, I just took out my starter. As you can see, it's here. No good. And it has this connector that you have to remove in order to remove the starter. Okay. <clears throat> Show you how it looks underneath in a little bit. So, I'm underneath now. You can see here's the opening for the starter. Not too bad. Get it from underneath. And in order to remove the starter, <coughs> there's two bolts that you have to remove. One is down here. You can get it from the transmission side, the bottom bolt. And the top bolt is, see if I can maneuver in here, give me a second. There you go. And the top bolt is right up there. Right there. Remove that bolt. The bottom bolt. From the transmission side. And you will be able to remove the starter. Too easy. Okay. And again, there's a cavity for the uh, starter to go into right up in here. All right, here's my old starter, the new one, nice and shiny. Like anything else, you wanna ensure connectors are correct, okay? And looking at these two here, they look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the installation. All right, there's the new starter installed, ready to go. Positive cable, connected, negative. Again, here is the, the bottom bolt to remove the starter. And then the top one, can't really see with my hand in the way, but there it is. That bolt right up there, right next to the transmission side. And last but not least, do not forget to reconnect the uh, starter cable here. What? Where's that? Where? Where? Where did I? I am. Um, there you go. Sorry. This cable here. You have to reconnect it. So this symbol, or when you remove the starter, don't forget to disconnect this, so you can remove fully the starter. Or else we're gonna have trouble. Again, reinstall this and good to go. Easiest way is to. Remove the fender cover. Remove that and you have access and a good visual on, uh, on the starter down there. So starter, that's your cable. Alrighty. Next stop is turn on the car. Alright. Let's start the uh, truck. See if it turns on. Here we go. There you go. There you go. Starter uh, removal and installation. Started went bad. There you go. Easy. Not too bad. Gotta take your time. Metal work. 2003 Nissan Frontier. Now I can use it. There we go. Hope this video works. Works out for you. Bye.